Hey, 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 what's up champions? Gediminas here, welcome to Financial Freedom TV. And today I wanted to give you a awesome tip on how to recruit influencers on social media. So if you're watching a replay of this video, please do me a massive favor and stick hashtag replay into the comments. And if you're brand new, if you're watching one of my videos for the first time, then please do say new in the comments because I'd love to welcome you to the tribe and say hello. And of course, if you do get some value from this video, if you learn something, feel free to share it because maybe somebody else will get some value too and you'll do them a favor by doing that too. Let me just say hi to a few people. Hey, Adria. Hey, Angela. Hey, Erica. Thanks for jumping on, guys. I uh, hope you're well. So... Today's topic is how to recruit influencers on social media. So first of all, what is an influencer? Well, an influencer is a person who is highly respected within their community and they are highly popular on social media. How would you recognize an influencer? Well, just scroll through your feed and look at people who uh, post, you know, their breakfast omelet and they get 150 likes. That's an influencer. <laughs> so... People who get a lot of likes, a lot of comments, a lot of love on social media, these are the influencers. So they are very easily recognizable. And very often the content they put on is also uh, quite good, right? It's also like usually it's really nice photos, uh, really nice stuff, you know, good, meaningful, you know, uh, text and things like that, right? So you'll quickly realize who is an influencer on social media and who's not by just seeing about on, on the engagement they receive. You know, if somebody posts something and, you know, and tomorrow is still like free likes, that's not an influence, you know, but if somebody posts something and within the half an hour, they got, you know, 150 likes, you know, you've got one, right? So that's an influencer. Now, why would it be beneficial for you to recruit one? I think it goes without saying, right? If you recruit somebody who's influential within their community, uh, hey Vita, hey Laura, hey Lina, hey Sierra, hey Sima, hey Ore, hey Ruta, hey Samantha, uh, hey Roberta, hey Ira, hey Irma, Kimberly, Irena, nice to see you guys. Welcome along, thanks for jumping on. So if you recruit an influencer, they can very quickly start building the business, right? Because very often they have the trust of their um, audience, uh, they they are somebody who's being looked up to by by their audience. So if they start advertising something, if they start promoting something, very often people will jump on. You know, imagine you recruited a Kardashian into your business. <laughs> How difficult do you think for them would be to recruit? How difficult do you think for them would be to build in your company? Not very difficult, right? Because they are being followed by millions of people, right? So it would be pretty easy for them, right? Now, Kardashian might be a bit of a stretch, but you can still recruit influencers within your business quite successfully, right? But how do you recruit them, right? How do you get them um, into the business, right? And the most important step, to be honest with you, is getting their attention. You know, like Gary Vaynerchuk says, before you're in the business of selling your product or before you're in the business of selling your opp opportunity, you're first of all in the business of attention. We are being bombarded with so much information. We are being bombarded with so many things that it's the attention span is going down of, of, of people, right? Like the other day, I, I did this experiment. I asked people, I said, hey, how many of you watch the telly with the phone in your hand at the same time? And almost everybody went, me, 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 right? Because we're just so distracted, right? So when it comes to you to recruit an influencer, first thing you need to get is their attention. Now, how would you get an influencer's attention? Now, if you're like most people, you'll say, well, I'll just message them. I'll just say, hey, Mr. Influencer, I would really love to have you in my network marketing company. Would you please join? Right. And nine times out of 10, that's one of 50 messages they received today. Right. Boring. Not interested. Don't stand out. Bye. Right. Next. Next. Right. They won't even look at it very often. Right. So how do you stand out? And again, I talk a lot about providing value, right? So in your marketing, you should be providing a lot of value, right? So this is not that different. One of the best ways to get the attention of an influencer is give them a shout out, right? So instead of you asking, hey, what can I get? How can I get you? How can I make money off you? Why not provide value to them, right? Like how many of you would mind if somebody went and tagged you in a post and said, 
hey, just wanted to give a shout out to uh, Christina for being an absolute rock star, uh, always providing amazing content, really funny, really intelligent girl. I'm so uh, inspired by her. Just watching her stuff every single day makes my day better. You know, I'm so blessed to be in your, uh, you know, uh, uh, circle of, of friends, etc. Just wanted to let you know you rock. Uh, keep going. Keep doing what you're doing. You're awesome. How many of you would mind somebody putting a post like that? Now, when I said tag, some of you might have thought, mm, shall I tag them with my product picture? Shall I tag them with my company logo? Right? That's spam. <laughs> That's the stuff you get blocked for. That's the stuff you get unfriended for, right? When you tag people in complete crap that is not related to them, right? But when you give a shout out to say, and you tag them in saying how awesome they are, how amazing they are, how incredible they are, now you're getting their attention. Now they're saying, Hmm, I like this Ramunas guy. Hmm, I don't know why, but I really like him, right? Why? Because you gave them compliment. Because you were nice to them. Because you didn't ask for anything and you gave instead. You gave attention. You gave a compliment. You gave support without going, Oh, and by the way, I've got a great business. Come and join. Right? No, 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 not yet. <laughs> you know what I mean? So with an influencer, first of all, you should give them a shout out. You know, and they will notice you then, most likely, you know, unless they are like, you know, like a rock star famous, you know, with like, you know, half a million fans and they get tagged in, you know, gazillion posts every day. But if it's a, you know, a normal type of influencer, you know, somebody who he has, you know, maybe, you know, three, four, five thousand followers, maybe 10,000 followers, they will notice that stuff. Right. And then they will go, mm, that's nice. Right. And what if you then maybe liked some of the posts the next day, maybe put some intelligent comments on the stuff they're posting. Now you're warming them up a little bit to yourself where they are noticing you, right? They don't yet like you probably, but at least they've noticed you. So now when you message them, when you reach out to them and go, Hey, I've been following you for a while. You, you know, you, you, you're absolutely awesome. I love your profile. I love how you represent yourself. I would love to run an idea by you, uh, you know, of a thing where I think you could absolutely crush. Uh, let me know if you're open and totally cool if you're not, but I thought I would just ask, right? Ask if they're open, give them an out. You will be a lot more likely to get a result than if you just, you know, cold message them off the bat straight away. Make sense, guys? I hope this makes sense. If it does, drop me a yes into the comments. I um, hope you got value from this. If you did, feel free to share this video. And if you'd like to get my free training on 26 different ways how to get more customers and make more sales, head over to titaniumsuccess.co.uk forward slash sales and you'll be able to get a free audio on 26 different ways how to get customers and get more sales. Have a great rest of your evening, guys. Love you loads. See you at the top. Bye for now.